Hello, my many friends. Gonna do a little bit of a end of the weekend haul again. It seems to be becoming a little bit of a tradition here. I get quite a few things over the weekend and then do a haul video. So I don't know, maybe it'll just be a thing. At any rate, uh, picked up some stuff from the auction. Also went to a couple of garage sales, not a lot of that this weekend. Uh, and then one bigger kind of a vintage sale. No, no one to think of that one. Anyway, there's a bag of stuff from that. So I'll just jump right in. Got at the auction, I picked up this stereoscope, which I'm excited about. Came with a whole bunch of um, cards as well, photo cards. But it turned out that they're reproduction cards. So not quite as excited about that as I would have been. But at any rate, I'm excited about the stereoscope. I love those, been wanting one for a while. Um, at the little estate sale thing, I found this cool old buoy. So I'm not sure what exactly we'll do with this, but you know, maybe we'll have some sort of a um, ocean themed sale or something like that. Uh, at the auction, one of the lots that I got was a bunch of Western stuff. So there's a bunch of Western books and things. I didn't bring those out here to show you, but there's this cute wooden box. It's hand carved, opens up, um, and hand carved with that old Indian. I can't remember the name of that painting, but anyway, that's hand carved on there. That's just kind of a neat little piece. It also had this uh, horse ashtray, which is a kind of a funky uh, uh, saucer type ashtray with balls where you would put your cigarette and then in the center there you can see there's a horse in glass so I don't really know very much about that but it's kind of a neat looking little piece so pick that up at the little estate sale thing I found uh, this which is one of those you know frame things that goes like that on your wall so I don't know for sure if I'll keep this and use it here in the on my gallery wall or something like that or sell it but anyway I picked that up um, and then at the auction, I bought this whole box of games. So I'll just run through these really quick. This is an old um, green box with a roulette wheel in it. I don't know how old that is or how interesting it is, but in this box, there are some, some really interesting things. So this is a Meet the Presidents game. These will all be going on eBay eventually. So that, that's a fun game. Uh, Washington Opoly, this is not old but it's um, specific to our Washington area here, so I thought that was neat. But here, War Game Conflict. This is an old um, Parker Brothers game. That one will be really fun on eBay. Happy Days, I mean, open this one up to see how complete it is. Hopefully it's complete. They're all in really, really good shape. They took good care of them. So hopefully uh, all the pieces are in all of them. I've checked a few. Uh, this one's Goldfinger, James Bond 007 game. Isn't that cool? Lots of stuff from the 70s here. A Day with Ziggy. You remember Ziggy? Little old Ziggy. So that's a cute game. Um, the Waltons game. That one's complete. And I think that's the one, in fact, I don't think this game's ever been played. Yeah, see, look at this. It's still sealed up inside. It's inside the plastic. Why would somebody buy a game in the 70s? Because they liked the Waltons, so they bought the game and then never played it. Just threw it into the garage. And then one more. Columbo, it's upside down because I'm trying to hold this other thing. Um, there, Columbo. <laughs> anyway, one more cool game from the 70s there. And then there's a 40th anniversary edition Monopoly game that is popping open and losing the pieces all over the box. So I'm gonna leave it in there. You've seen a Monopoly game before. It doesn't look dramatically different than that. So there you go, it's gonna stay in the box. Um, got a lot of bird stuff. This little guy is that hardwood, kind of ironwood. I can't remember what kind of wood exactly it's called. Um, quail. And this guy's pretty tall. He says, it says nine inches, but that's definitely taller than nine inches. You know, this is gonna be in our five and $10 sale this week. And um, so join us on Tuesday night for that sale. He'll be for sale there. Uh, also in that lot was a road runner. So same thing, that hardwood stuff. I love this stuff. A lot of times the beaks or the little feathers are broken and on this one, they're not. There's no chips or breaks or anything. So I love that little road runner. Uh, there's also these brass eagle 
uh, bookends. So those are cool, uh, big and heavy. They'll be real fun to ship. And then there was this set of pheasants. And I found these on eBay. There's quite a few of them available actually. Um, but they're, they're really cool still, I love them. And I don't know who made them, but anyway, there they are. Uh, there's felt on the bottom so you can't see any markings or anything, but anyway, they're in really good shape and they're just really, really pretty. I love these. They're long and skinny and um, be a lot of great places that you could put something like that where it looked really, really cool. So that's the auction haul. Um, I also bought, let me think, there's a whole lot of, uh, oh, the Western books that I didn't bring out here. Um, so then at the little vintage sale that I went to, there's a few things there. Got this little breadboard paddle thing. Um, got that. This stuff's all wrapped up, you guys. I apologize. Uh, got this little horse. That little guy. He's just a red wear Japan horse. I'm going to run out of places to put things. Yikes. Uh, and this. I love this. Isn't that cool? A little Swedish. And it's a um, you know napkin holder, or you could put your letters or whatever or something on your desk, and the little horse there. I just think that's just so pretty, and so I picked that up. Um, there's this, another little Holland piece. I didn't take the stickers off these. And this is a little um, kind of a little picture frame, and I'm not just sure the purpose of this, but. This particular picture frame, you can put your picture in there and then you can lock it up and then it pops open. So anyway, that's where you put your picture right inside there. But then this closes all up It locks in place so that you can hide your love from the world. I don't know. Anyway, cute, cute hand painted Swedish piece. Thought that was neat. So we picked that up. This actually is Carol's. She got this because she really liked it. She wants to put it on her desk at work. So it's a little uh, ink bottle thing that's got a pen there, like, you know, so it's a fake feather thing. So it's good. Anyway, but it's pretty. It's a purple glass. There's quite a bit of purple glass there, and I picked up quite a bit of it because purple is a popular color. This little strainer. Actually, this I got for my kitchen. Here's a couple of the glass pieces. See it's these little juice glasses? This one has ships on it. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see the ship there. It's just raised, embossed. So they're little juice glasses. I need to look them up. I don't know if these are the type of things that came in something or came with something. This one has little soldiers all the way around it. See that? So that's another purple glass, juice glass. Got this little Balik vase. I love that. It's a nice little bleak vase. I might save that for St. Patrick's Day. Little purple, oop, losing all the toothpicks. Little toothpick holder. And she left the toothpicks for me, so that was nice. Anyway, it's spilling everywhere, but little, just little purple amethyst glass uh, toothpick holder. There's one more juice glass. This one just has a kind of a design on it. It's not any particular figures. That just fun stuff, you guys. It was just a nice weekend. Carol and I spent Saturday down at the cabin and just relaxed. This one looks like a drum, kind of, and it has eagles on it, or maybe they're not eagles. Maybe yeah, there's an eagle on it. Anyway, looks like a drum, and that's again the purple boss. So we spent the day Saturday at the cabin. We were supposed to mow the lawn, but. The lawnmower wouldn't work, so got off the hook for that. Didn't have to mow anything, but the lawn looks terrible. Anyway, one more juice glass. Just, they're pretty. Um, and purple it should sell well, so that'll be good. It's always nice if they sell. And then a little, let me remind myself, Fenton. Le Lefton, sorry. A little Lefton owl. And he's just that this kind of ceramic stuff, so. He's not any crazy thing and he's little, but he is pretty and kind of cute. So there he is. Maybe I should send him to Kim. Anyway, that's it. That's all she wrote. Good weekend, but um, you know, lots of fun stuff. 
some other things from the auction and a few other garage sale things that just didn't quite make it into the pile here to show you today. But anyway, it was fun just to share a few of the things that we found this weekend. Got covered with mosquito bites. We were out late um, Friday night when we got down to the cabin and we sat down uh, by the lake and just watched the night come up and the moon come up and the stars. And it was a really beautiful, lovely evening. I just love the summertime and it's just a great time of the year. So it was a good weekend. Hope you had a good weekend too. Thanks for sharing with my little haul here and have a great week.